Hi, I'm Mitch Kapoor, chair of Linden Lab, the maker of Second Life. What I'd like to show you today are some uh, experiments we've done here at Kapoor Enterprises using a 3D camera to control Second Life. This new user interface is accomplished entirely without the mouse or the keyboard. Uh, it's done through the position of the body and its movement. The images captured by the 3D camera extract body geometry in real time, the actual position of the arms and the legs and the hands, fingers, and even facial expressions. We wanted to show that the common types of actions accomplished in Second Life every day, such as navigation and editing objects, could also be accomplished using the camera as the basis of the interface. On this project, we've worked with Philippe Bossu, who is the engineer who wrote the code and who is going to demonstrate it. One thing that people want to do in Second Life is to move about freely by walking and by flying. We developed an interface partly inspired by the Segway scooter in which the position of the body triggers movement. Leaning forward causes the avatar to move forward. Leaning back moves the avatar backward. To turn, lean to the side. The more you lean, the faster you turn. To stop, just stand up straight. Now, if you jump in place, the avatar jumps. People love to fly in Second Life, and we wanted to make this easy. So we developed an interface to make it possible to fly like a bird. The position of your hands controls taking off, landing, and altitude. To take off or ascend, lift your hands above your waist. To level out, keep your hands at waist height. To descend, drop your hands below your waist. You can also angle your hands to turn like a bird. The steeper the angle, the sharper the turn. You can combine the Segway style leaning and the position of the hands for more intricate flying maneuvers. We also added simple gestures to allow for automatic and graceful landing. Normally, when you stumble off a ledge, you fall and hit the ground, splat. It's okay, nobody makes the first jump. But to land gracefully, just put your hands up and behind your back. Thanks for watching. This is just the beginning. We'll be working on more demos, and you can catch up with us at handsfree3d.com.